Okay, we're heading east, sort of northeast, on the Post Road, US 1, which at this point is Main Street. Uh, we have Monroe College on our right, and there are other buildings for Monroe College that have been purchased and integrated with its growing college. Further down this road, other towns that you will see are Larchmont, Mamaroneck, Rye, and then eventually Greenwich. That's a long US-1, which in Marichelle here is Main Street. We're not going up higher on US-1. Instead, we're going to make a right toward the water or toward the Long Island Sound. See shopping centers on your left, car dealers, McDonald's, and, and all of that. Now this uh, this way brings us toward the coast. Rochelle has it. Probably three miles of its border is on Long Island Sound, and so it's dotted with many beach clubs and, and uh, beaches and parks get a sample of that in this video coming up. I'm going to make a left, or I'm going to try to make a left if I can. Oh, no left turn. There's a restaurant there that faces the water. We can go down in here to look at the munis municipal marina. Get an idea if you have a boat and you want to live in your shell, it's a place to put your boat. restaurant across the way called Dudley's and there are float spaces here. You can see the craft. Beautiful marina. Here's a restaurant. Another restaurant up there. So if you like living on the water, Rochelle is a great place to be. apartment buildings in Urshel and dozens of them along this road which is called Shore Road or Pelham Road. There's one in particular, C.J. Collins, it used to be called Buzzy and Dick's. There's the Harbor House apartment building and thousands of people live in this area of town and they love living down by the water. There's a park that we pass called Hudson Park behind us, right on the water, you can go swimming. In another part of the video, we visited Davenport Park. There's another school, this one is an elementary school. And <clears throat> Davenport Park is along Davenport Avenue or down Davenport Avenue, there are many different beach clubs. We're gonna be passing a middle school along the right called Isaac Young. It's one of two middle schools in town. The other one is in the north end of town. This one looks a little bit like a castle. Beautiful architecture. There are more uh, apartment buildings all along here. With over 70,000 citizens, you could be sure that there are active citizens uh, who ensure that policies of the town are properly developed and executed. A 
is an assisted living facility along the right here. All the Willow Towers and a nursing home right next to it of the same ownership, I believe. And we're, there's a creek that runs a couple hundred, uh, less than a hundred yards down here. Maybe we'll even take a quick look down there. And then we'll go down toward the water. Glen Island Park. And we'll just get a feel for it here. Float spaces and docks. It's a restaurant with views. Plenty of places to shop, get groceries. Dine and live. All beautiful, all well maintained. And all part of the fabric of their shell. More apartments here along Shore Road, also called Pelham Road. We're traveling south on this road. Nursing home, townhouses, and more apartment buildings, more townhouses. <laughs> 